And they were like, why were Dave and Brian angry about some of the insider terminology used? You'll never guess. Yeah, but why were they angry at some of the terminology used on AEW this past Wednesday, but they weren't angry about some of the insider terminology that Roman Reigns used on Monday? <laughs> and, like, when they said this, I went, what? You're you're actually comparing what was said on Wednesday to what was said on is it, You're doing that, huh? Okay, well, you know, maybe some people are, are thinking that, so I will address this in a calm <laughs> manner without yelling. The only thing I can figure that they're talking about... He's laughing to prevent from screaming. ...is right when now. Roman Reigns said, you, you couldn't get over here, so you left and started a company. You couldn't get over there, so you came back here. And then you got over, and then your body failed on you. I think that's what they're mad about, because I can't, I can't think of anything else they said that was even remotely insider, okay? Well, my friends, if you want me to be as mad about that or, or compare that to when Sammy Guevara went on TV and said, I was hired to be a job guy, bro, I don't know what to tell you, okay? The term getting over, yeah, it's a wrestling term. But you know what getting over means? It means, you know, you went from whatever to all of a sudden the people like you. <laughs> There's nothing about that phrase that says that pro wrestling is not real, okay? Ronda Rousey got over with the fans in the UFC, right? Colby yeah. Covington, like, that dude wasn't that great a fighter, but he got over by doing a bunch of crazy stuff. And next thing you know, he's in main events making a lot of money, and, you know, they just throw title matches at him or whatever. Hey, is Nick Diaz over? Nick Diaz got over. Like, these guys got over. You can get over in wrestling. You can get over in sports. Like, you know, your whoever comes to date your daughter, he can get over with you. Whatever. And there's nothing about that, that that screams this is a fake business, okay? But when a guy goes, I was hired to be a job guy, that means I was hired to be the guy that loses the matches so that the star can't lose. That means it's fake. When the guy goes, I was hired to be the bump guy, that means, well, the star doesn't want to fall down too much, so I'm going to fall down for him. That's what it means. That means it's fake. So my criticism with what Sammy said was, all you have to do is say, you know, I was brought in here to carry a dude's bags, and I ended up a three-time champion. It's it's literally saying the exact same thing, but it's miles better, okay? There was nothing about, hey, you know, you didn't get over here, so you left. You know what didn't get over? Stardust, okay? It didn't get over. Whether it's real or fake, Stardust didn't get over. Then he went to AEW, and he wanted to be like a, a big-time hero to the people, and they booed him. He did not get over as a hero. Whether it's real or fake, that's what happened. In fact, him not getting over was actually real. Then he comes here and, you know, he got over and then his, his body gave out. There was literally nothing about that that exposed the business. By the end of this, I was convinced Iron Mike Sharp is the best wrestler who ever lived. He's low-key at first. Like, ah, bah, bah, bah. But he keeps going. Bah, 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 bah. He claps. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I got a hell of a ass. <laughs> ah, I'm tall. I'm giant Mike Sharp. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.